Hello, ladles and jelly spoons. Um, it's Aegis, and this is zombies. Big Al forty two forty two did a little challenge where you had to stay in this one room and choose either of the two primary weapons here, and get past uh, wave six, I believe we got up to. And uh, this is some gameplay of me getting up to wave nine. And I just this one first go, I didn't really expect to do very well because I haven't been on zombies for a long time. But uh, it's not too difficult. It's you just have to buy loads of quick revive. <laughs> Eventually it runs out, the quick revive does, which is quite annoying, but... And there's not really much point in getting too much um, points, to be honest, because you end up just um, with one gun and not much to spend it on, except from the gun and the quick revive. But anyway, uh, I won't be talking too much about that. I'll probably be doing a... Well, if, if he wants to, I'll do a dual com with him. Sub for sub, box for box, no scope, dual com. Anyway, um, that might sound a bit strange because I've just woken up. <clears throat> so, first thing I want to say is thank you very much to Bum Bummy Mixes, is his YouTube channel. He goes by um, that name. Oh, what is it? Uh, Bummy Poo. <laughs> um, sorry, Bummies. Bumsy. Um, he made me a three backgrounds now and loads of display pictures that I've used for various different channels and so I want to give him a shout out because he is a massive legend. I'll leave his channel link in the description along with Big Owls. Um, I've got some more physics and well less physics this time, more philosophy I hope because um, that was one of the feedback criticisms I received. Do more philosophy than um, physics. But I will be talking just quickly I'll, I'll just say a couple of things about some things that people wanted me to speak about last time. Someone said uh, white holes, and I did a little bit of research on them. Uh, they just se seem to be a theoretical opposite of um, the white, the black hole, which means that matter and light can escape from them. So it just seems a bit weird, really. But nothing can go inside it, if you know what I mean. So um, in a black hole, things can go inside of it, but can't come out. And in white holes, it's the opposite. So I think that's basically what it is. I haven't spent long researching it because I was very tired. Um, I did a little bit of studying on wormholes as well, actually, and um, they just appear to be uh, wormholes. <laughs> I haven't really learnt much new about them except from that they sort of absorb you and spit you out in another universe. Not, um, I think. They can have ones that are in another universe and ones that are just the same universe but a completely different place of it. So, yeah, it could be that. <laughs> All pro for the win. And zombies. Whoa. Um. No, we did we did some uh, research in lesson actually about the size of the universe, and it's possible to work it out from the distortion of light, the redshift that I was on about before. Did I actually say? about the size of the universe, I'm not sure. Um, we worked it out to be about um, a radius of 6,000 mega parsecs, and a parsec is 3.2 light years, I think, around there anyway. And yeah, it just means that the universe is very big. About 12,000 mega parsecs uh, in diameter, which is rather crazy because that means it's something times 10 to the 24 um, meters, I believe, which is uh, a few thousand million, million, million meters. And it doesn't seem that much for the universe, but believe you me, it's a lot. <laughs> uh, what else shall I talk about? Um, oh yeah, I was going to talk a bit more about God, because um, someone was asking me what I think about God and why I said that I was religious even though my beliefs seem to be sort of based on physics. Now the reason I say I'm religious um, is because I believe something that's inverted commas supernatural I guess, the soul. I believe in the soul. I believe that there's something more to us than our physical bodies which is kind of a, a bold and brash statement but that's what I believe because uh, my life experience seems to point that way, I guess you could say. I uh, I believe in a soul because if you think about it, 
we aren't the same person as when we were born, are we? We can't be, because um, all of our cells have disappeared and been regenerated since then. Where none of us, literally none of the atoms in any of our bodies, are the same as what they used to be. <coughs> so, how can you say that we're the same person? Well, you can't really, I guess, but somehow we got memories and we've got all of this, these things that we can... We've, we've got to show that we're the same person. And so how can that be possible <coughs> without a soul? So that's that's where that's my reasoning behind us having a soul and therefore um why I think that I'm religious. Uh Castle Bravo said to speak a little bit about inertia and momentum. And I, I originally said, no, they're not the same thing. I just sort of jumped to that conclusion because inertia is resistance to change in movement whereas momentum um, takes in the vector of velocity as well now um, inertia is based upon mass just mass and um, inertia is proportional to mass so the more mass an object has the uh, more inertia it has and inertia just means how uh, hard it is to, to move it basically to change its direction and velo uh, velocity momentum is also taken into account velocity, so momentum is velocity multiplied by mass, which means that <coughs> um, they're different. They're different, <laughs> but please correct me in the comments because I haven't done too much research. It's just all coming out of my head, to be honest. Um, I was going to talk a bit about. I was going to get a Riot Shield gameplay to do this over, but. Uh, yeah, the guy who asked me to research white holes is. Uh, who's this guy I think he is so thank you for that um, if you want me to speak about something leave it in the comments and maybe the next time I'll do a bit more research on it because this time I haven't I've been slacking off a bit to be honest but yeah um, so a little bit more on physics I guess exotic matter exotic matter is um, matter that doesn't obey physics in our universe so it could be matter that has negative mass which is kind of crazy or matter like dark matter that's uh, inverted commas exotic matter I guess as well because we don't know much about it and I think I've already said about dark matter being neutrinos have I? I'm not sure I, I just basically think well, dark matter makes up most of the universe because we, and we can tell that because we have a certain amount of um, knowledge about the orbits of stars and whatever we know that there has to be this certain amount of mass and as it happens all of the um, actual matter in the universe doesn't total up to anywhere near the amount of mass that's needed for this amount of gravity so either on the other side of the universe um, or far away from us uh, mass is heavier or mass is more dense or something or there's this dark matter and dark matter is, in my opinion, just neutrinos. And neutrinos are these tiny little particles, and I think I've talked about this before. But there are trillions of them streaming through every person every second. <coughs> so I think here in the gameplay, I, I've sort of given up. The, the um, quick revive machines disappeared because I've used it too many times, I think. <laughs> but I'm just trying to sort of run around the tables and kill all the zombies as they come because I can't think of much else to do, to be honest. And this is the last revive I get. Although the pistols you get while in this thing are pretty cool. I don't bother to kill the uh, little ones, because I want to repair all the windows. Yeah, I go see if it's there, and it's not there anymore. So I don't bother killing those, because I want to repair all the windows before the next wave. As it happens, it doesn't help too much, because I think I die in the next wave. I'm not too sure, though. No, it probably isn't. I don't know. Uh, no, I get to number nine, don't I? I forgot. Um, yeah. Um, so, uh, I was asked by a good fellow, uh, is this photon god that I'm on about sentient? Does that mean that he thinks and that he created us intentionally, or was it an accident, as you might be able, might want to say, I guess? Um, it's a very good question, and I think that um, technically, it's that guy isn't God. Um, 
but he's God at the same time because he created us all and that's what God's about. So I, yeah, I'm looking here if the quick revive things come back, but it hasn't, which is quite unfortunate. But um, now this this God particle, this um, photon, I, I don't think it can really be sentient if it's just a photon. And maybe it was. You can say, oh, it, it was sent by someone that's sentient, but that would destroy the whole object of it. That that photon wouldn't be the thing that created us. It'd be the God that sent it. And that god that sent it doesn't explain anything. All it does is raises more questions about how, how where did that god come from. So you can't really say that <coughs> God... The Bible itself says that God is begotten, not created. Begotten just means that it was it's always been there. And <coughs> I remember as a, a young lad, I had um, some, some calms with that particular statement because my head exploded well, pretty much at... I was trying to think about it, and it really hurt my head, <laughs> really, because like, how how can something be begotten? How can it be never have been made? How can it have always been there? But that's how um, God is explained in the Bible, and that's just the worst explanation I've ever heard, to be honest. But there, I just get the lucky, lucky uh, insta kill and manage to clutch it to the ninth round. But I think I die in this one. So, God for me, it's um, a strange subject, because we're here. <clears throat> we are definitely here, but how can we be here if um, there wasn't something that created us? And the, the honest truth is that we, we couldn't have been here if... Um, well, imagine, what do you think started the universe? Something has to have started it. We can't just have been here from the start. We can't just have spawned here like you're doing cod I guess <sighs> but anyway another confusing and demented commentary uh, big old 4242 if you're still watching this um, thanks for watching and uh, everyone else uh, I'll see you next time take us out